Except when they don't read the Bible. Why did you ask them that? When did, how did you know, what made you notice that? I'm wondering what, what, I'm wondering <laughs> what was going through your head when you just, when you just noticed that, what pulled that out of your head? And they don't go. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, I believe that, um, that reading the book corresponds with faith. Hmm. I do believe that. It has to. Well, like, if someone's reading it, that's human lips reading the Word of God, and if you don't have any faith in their ability to read it and tell you that truth, you're not going to listen to them and believe them. See, what it really boils down to is not their faith in the Bible, it's their faith in the person's ability. Obviously, it's not that good. But you would have, I think, I think a wise person would ask themselves, where are they going to sit there and read me a bunch of crap out of the Bible about God that I'm not going to believe? You know, or, I mean, take considering what's there. Or is it going to be because someone just is sure? You know, it's called a probable account. Is it sure what you know isn't anything or it is? Do they really know what you have learned? Do they know what you know? And I'm not asking that question. I'm asking, are you sure that they know what you have learned? Or do they have any concept of that? Or are they sure you understood what you knew? And you asked me, you, you gave me those those numbers? That's good. Those, those are about right. I said those are about right. I, I think I have a theory on that. I don't, I don't think it's anything bad. Really, I think it's more of an embarrassment thing. It makes sense. I think the reason people don't read it is because they can't understand it. They don't understand it. I don't know why the Bible says it will help you. you know, the Holy Spirit says in, you know, God, but the inspiration of it will help you understand. In Revelation, it says you, if you read this, you will understand it. I don't know why people keep saying they can't. So it makes sense that they can't understand what they're reading to a point, and they don't want to go to somebody and say, I don't get this. It's going to be embarrassing. It's like they don't understand the Bible. To hear that sound is going to make it... They'll be embarrassed for it. And then they think that they should be able to read it and understand everything in it without a problem because of what the book is. But because they don't understand it and it's inspired text and they don't quite know what they're doing. People always question the scripture of what it is. They don't know what it is. Or I think it could be this or I think it could be this. They don't know. Okay, because they're coming up they're trying to they're trying to assimilate the correct answer for it and tell them they don't have it. Which means they don't understand what they read. Because lots of people don't understand what they read, they refuse. They would just, uh, assume, they would just, you know, assume not read it. But then bothering somebody with it or having themselves look bad or not look good for it, that to that's totally got to be that. And there's no reason that people wouldn't read it. And then, from what it says, in there do. I mean, well, when I was growing up, anybody that reads the book, everybody that's, you know, anyone that's a Christian or that loves the Lord. They stay together in all study. If a Christian's telling you they don't want to talk to you because you're telling you're saying the wrong things in the Bible, that's the wrong answer. Maybe they're not where they're supposed to be. But what a Christian's supposed to do is to, if you're incorrect, they're supposed to open the book, sit down with you, and show you where you need to be correct. And then that's what they're supposed to do. You got to know the author before you know the book. Man. And the Holy Spirit wrote the whole thing. If somebody in your family tells you that God's going to punish you for what you're doing and stuff, wrong. Don't believe that. God doesn't have wrath on you. For God so loved the world, He gives only the young son. God loves you. He doesn't love your sin. He hates your sin. The reason He loves us, if He hated you or had a problem with you, He wouldn't have sent His son. Because His son died for your salvation, not for your works. Okay? Big difference. He came for you to be there. If he had a problem with you, then true God, the ones that he's evacuated, the reason he's, he's, he's about at the tip of his anger now, about, about the max. And that's when he's going to bestow the judgments. You know, it's seven from the Trinity. It's 21 judgments and five plagues. He's evacuating the people who truly love him and who loves him with our connections, which you're saved. We get evacuated from this planet before he drops and hit his worst bomb of all time. In 21 judgments, five plagues, the world will fall to their knees in 60 minutes. No, but they can't handle it. The earth can't handle it out. It's just they can't take it. it, 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 I, it, it God, I am full strength. And he's pissed. It's, you know, this is about his anger. He's angry. He's blown his top. He can't handle it. All the, it's going to be full strength. Oof. 
That's what the Bible says. I can't imagine that. All I can imagine is that this entire earth of where it's at can't handle it for 60 minutes. All that was worth much will be worth nothing in 60 minutes. And that's not just that. It's, it's that, dude, that's fast. A whole hour. The hour of judgment. Yep. Seven judgments in each number. Jesus means I am Savior. Mm hmm. Yahweh Savior. Yeah, I know that. Yahweh means I am in Hebrew. Well, that's what he, yeah. That's what the Father, that, um, God the Father replied back to uh, Moses and that's what he was God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He said Yahweh, which is the most holy name you can call God the Father. And then Jesus is Yahweh's a savior, or I am savior. And Jesus said a few times I looked in scripture and was in there. Uh, he just said he didn't, he didn't claim to be the Messiah. Why would he have to? When the questions asked him, his answer would make that very clear. Well, Caiaphas asked him if he was the son of God, the Messiah. And he said, Yahweh. Which means, okay, he claimed to be. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, well, because all the other priests and all the other they, they repeated different different uh, quotes and stuff from other scholars and other prophets and stuff. Jesus didn't. He completely spoke because he had the complete he had the complete uh, uh, wisdom and strength and the power of God. He was God. He is God. So I'm saying he had, he he spoke like he had the power of God and the authority of God with him. And because he did, that was just it. So that's what made him speak different than everybody else. That's what they noticed. He speaks of this, he speaks different than that, because nobody else spoke that way. Nobody preached or taught anything new. All they did was teach stuff that the other people already taught and pass it down. Jesus is speaking to you from what you're supposed to be doing. Like the 12, there's 12 commandments. Baha! Okay, the tape is rolling. Mommy, having sex. Mommy. I understand you are the cook at... Ca having sex was more... He was 10 years old yesterday. Testing, testing. So you were married before. Sir, we have a... Jason, I'm not going home without my... So this very... I did kill him. Is it recording now? I want you all to know something. <clears throat> Mrs. Vort. Is this thing working? Okay. First off, may I call you by your first name? No. That's fine, Mrs. Vore. Do you have children? We meet again, Mr. Jarvis. Detective Rigo. And you remember...
Oh god. What am I gonna do? Number 18, 19, I think we got 19 talent tapes for one more. I can't believe it. This is bad. Really? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, okay, I had to meet Jason real quick so he doesn't hear us. Okay, right on. Anybody know where the stool no. pigeon's at? Where's the stool pigeon? Is he playing AFK? Really? He's playing AFK, really? No shit? Okay, um, if he is, then we can make this quick. <laughs> um, let's see, I'm gonna I'll run back to the pad in a second here. There ain't nothing wrong with you. Why are people barricading the damn cabins to search them? That's ridiculous. Mason, I'm watching, coming down to the truck, I'm watching her shotgun. Where are you, Mason? Somebody come over here and grab a shotgun, man. I'm not gonna lay it here. Lay it here. I got one right here in front of me. Come here, come get it. Right here. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Oh, you got one? Okay, okay. I, didn't, I just saw you come down here. Huh? Why? That's stupid. Then you waste a shot. I just don't want to leave my bat. That's all. I like my baseball bat. That's what I'm saying. Man. Who does your wardrobe, man? Hey, who does your wardrobe? <laughs> I just got a camera tape again. I know how to get them. Uh, I just had, I, it's not a theory I got on. I know, I'm sure, I'm pretty sure I have the three, you gotta do three things to get them, and I'm pretty sure the one thing I'm concerned about is the one that works. And it's perk set up. Cool, I got them like six times, but we got last night, a friend of mine did it. A friend of mine did it last night, just two of us. With just two of us we did it. The sooner we get to Jason, though, before you hear the kid get killed, my mom, the, the less we have to hit him and take his mask off. So by the time he's got it, I, I, I'm, I'm a lot, lots of people don't even think about that. Okay, grab some car keys, too. Um, if he's that kid, 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 hmm? Well, when I'm, how, how's the car looking? Bat okay, both batteries are in? Okay, um, is somebody close to me, man? Hey, you, oh, you're down there at... Give me Christmas. Well, I want to pass the keys off. Anybody got gasoline yet? Hey, you guys, see you. Come here, come here, come here. Come here. I have a shotgun. Wait, you come here. I got a shotgun. Let me in the house. Here. You want know to take the shotgun? Take it. Take the shotgun. Take the shotgun, there you go, hang on. There you go, take the motherfucker. All right, close that door. Jason, you're a cold smoking stool pigeon. Not only that, you gotta quit, quit drinking zombie piss before it turns into a mushroom. I'm gonna start him. I missed. He is kind of boneheaded, isn't he? God, that's the wrong team up against Jason so we can stun him, because that's the only way we're getting out of this game. <laughs> no! 
It's a Kamala sweater, actually. Oh. Who's got it? Oh. Anybody got the sweater on? You got the sweater or no? Okay, I'll get it. Come out of here, stop. Don't move. I got this. Stand. Now, okay, look, I just called him back here to his cabin to see if he's foolish enough to come back. I know he got some, Yeah, he was. Didn't that work or what, baby? It's called a defensive mechanism. Ah, 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 ah. Yeah, I got the keys on me. Someone can grab the keys from me. I'm down here in the lower part of the map. I'm heading on the lower part of the map of the lake by the other carpet. I'm heading up now by the campfire. I sent Jason back to his cabin because he already had a sweater. I just went and alerted his mother to send him back. It worked, didn't it? He bounced on you because he came down there. I heard his music at the cabin. I was trying to get him off you for a second. I said I'll get him off you. It's like it's like ringing the bell at the gas station. Running in and out of his cabin. It, it, if he's a bonehead, it'll be worth it to him too. Okay, here he comes. He's coming at me. He's coming at me. Good. Come on, stool pigeon. Come on, Jason. He's coming. Hey. Hey, lock this. He's coming here. Yeah, it's kind of stupid, huh, Jason? Why did you just leave and go trap that one? I could just bounce, bonehead. Because <laughs> he's got the fucking IQ of a rattle. That's why. <laughs> hey, okay, I'm gonna leave the keys right here so y'all can see some keys, okay? Okay, now, you see the keys on the map? You see the keys on the map? Okay, come grab the cow. Come grab the keys. Come on, Jason, you putz. He's right up here. Nice. Go. Oh. Come on, Jason. Come on, Jason. Nice. We need this, we need the axe here, this axe here. No. Where is he? He chasing you? Stool pigeon! No! Ah! It's been unlocked. Why don't you stay there and bleed a while before you take some real pain? Huh? Hit, you gotta hit him with that axe, man! It's on the ground! <laughs> I got it. Get off me, you fucking ape. My ass. <laughs> Shit! I need someone to help me hit him in the back when he's got this thing for me. I almost took it off. I didn't know nobody was around him. Has so, Jarvis been deployed yet? Oh, shit. Get me Jarvis, this fucker will not survive. <laughs> No way. Oh damn, I was completely solo. They bet all the plan. Why are you guys separated? Holy shit. That's the whole reason we fucked this up. You guys gotta stay together no matter what, man. For real. No, I'm not kidding. You. I'm dead serious. That's the whole problem. People wanna scatter and shit when you see him and pet no. Swarm this fool. He'll run. He cannot take us. He can't handle us. That's the whole thing. He cannot do it. He'll he'll fucking use his powers to leave. To get away from us. 
You guys will overwhelm him so bad. We'll cut that thing off his mask. I have a friendship perk is 13% strength to 13% attack to all surrounding counselors. All. That adds 13% more to whatever you guys got. Oh, dude. We, got, we slay that fucker. Easy. Easy. This guy, Dopey, this, this Jason here, I took the mask off with a shot to the back of the head with a shotgun. You're supposed to hit him from the side, not the front. Because he, it takes more hits from the front, it's like hitting a wall. Or how he bumps his, when you're trying to break through a door and he axe bounces off it. Okay, you take him from the sides and the back because of this collision course program. He just, it, it's not good to take him from the front. Anyway, uh, from the sides, I took him one shot to the back of the head with a shotgun and then three hits with that axe took him right off his face. He's got to be in combat mode that are doing it. Got to go into combat mode and then actually swing it up towards his face and come right off. Say, show yourself. Then got your nose. We got your nose. Oh, hell no. Uh, Reverse! Okay, all set. <laughs> Time to get out of here. You can go pick somebody else up now if you can. I, I, put, I put a bitch back in with one Yeah, um... There's a couple of roots on here that you can't even get into because fucking, uh... That, there's so many trees in the way when you're driving through it. He tried to short range one of the kids. This is this is a little sound because he's in the trees. Hey, if you use firecrackers on him, look, if you use firecrackers on him, that's a great, great, great opportunity to walk up and just nail him from the sides. If you, if you, if you, if you guys got firecrackers, that's even kind of a bonus to take his mask off. That's kind of, an, it's kind of a, and that, it's, no. that's what I'm saying, to get his mask off, and a nice tool, that a nice cushion to have with you, some, a nice cushion to have with you, look. Well, you have a machete in your hand. You don't need an axe. I, I hit him with the axe. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Look, I hit him with the axe right. I took damage from him. He takes permanent damage until the mask is off. He's got seven hit points. He's invincible until you do the ritual. Until we get the four other... Three, until we get the three other people that come back. Um, why'd you guys lock the door? If he sees that prompt, he'll just break the door down. She's a lock there. He ain't gonna walk into that. If the door is unlocked, sure. But that's free cheese and a mouse trap. Of course he'll open the door and walk into it. Ah... If, when I tell people, if Jason's not gonna be, if you're not gonna be fooled by it, he ain't gonna, be. huh? No, if the way I look at it, if you're not gonna be fooled by what you see, then he ain't gonna be either. No, 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 it's a, it's a perspective, dude. It's not a personal thing. It's this is what I'm saying. This council all the time flashing their lights to the wall, and like you, you think he can't see that? Um, huh? Hmm. Here you go. You should use that shotgun and shoot him with it. That'll take so much damage to his face. That shotgun will then... Jarvis, you just need to hit him one time. Hey, Jarvis has to only hit him one time on the side and then take that mask right the fuck off. I'm telling you, I've hit him in the face. I don't know how much it takes to take it off. You hit him one time, it's gone. He's taking enough damage. Now, I would dodge to the side and just crack him one. He'll be gone. He's stalking. He's stalking. Well, he's also enraged, so I hope we open the door. Step in it. Okay, now it's going. Grab it. Grab it. I told you. Grab it, Tommy. You need it. Grab it, Tommy. Grab the fucking mask. You have to have it in your inventory. Grab it. Pick it up. Oh my gosh. You cannot fix stupid. You can't fix stupid. You pick that mask up, put it in your inventory, you can kill him right now. Yeah, they're bone. They're, yeah, they're not too bright. They never killed him before. They don't know what the fuck they're doing. They have no clue. They don't know what they're doing. If they knew what they were doing, it'd be an e it then done already. Jason, Why you... Mother is talking you just fucked you. yourself, dude. The mask is on the floor, bonehead. Oh my gosh, dude. what I just fucking tell you, man? We killed him ten times! 
shit. <laughs> Fucking boneheads. I don't know why I should grab the mask. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Grab the mask, dude. Ooh, 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 ooh. Dude, pick his mask up. Ooh, 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 ooh. Come on, man. Grab his mask, Tommy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> I thought you killed him ten times, dude. Where'd that light come from? He's been drinking zombie piss. Look at him. They can't kill him. They, all they've had to do is pick his mask up and put it in Tommy's inventory. He would have been dead. They don't know what they're doing. They have no clue what the fuck they're doing. Yeah. Fallen heads. That's what sucks when you lie, bro. You look stupid. More stupid because you just got here. No shit. That's all you had to do. And then you guys hit the prompt right there. was over. You would have won. Everybody in this lobby would have got the credit for killing him and the patches. So if he says he killed him, that's bullshit. He probably sat in the lobby while he was dead and watched somebody in the game do it for him. Exactly. I got videos where I actually did it in live masses open, didn't know anybody. It just happened to be that spring of the moment. Oh, she's got the sweater? Oh, well, she just took his mask off. Let's get his eighth outside. <laughs> That's why I tried. And I told him, too, didn't I just say it? I said, one hit, it'll come right off. Didn't it? Because <laughs> I took, yeah, because I, I took enough damage off. I mean, I just got enough experience where I know how long it takes. So That's why I started hacking on with, with uh, Tiffany and said, all right, from here, no matter who gets them, they're going to kill him. All I got to do is take it off. Yeah, that was kind of... When you play a game that everybody plays, and, uh, you know, it's a thing where people want to kill Jason. I've only killed him five times. That's enough. You know what I mean? To understand how to do it. I did it with Jarvis every time I take a sweater once. People make a mistake though with the sweater. Um, if you're going to use a sweater, that person does not move at all. And don't even attack because if you do, then it'll, it'll break the resistance right away and he'll hit. It'll be over. Kind of like how she can screw it up. But if, if that's sometimes it helps have a third party because of that. But the way I did it with two is uh, Jarvis, he could even cut him with the machete and I was still dropping to his knees. That's enough to walk him and do the pump. But yeah, most sometimes people with the, with the sweater, once they use a the sweater, they'll try to they'll try to not they'll try to stun him and no, wrong answer. It'll it'll end the ritual right there. It's gotta be done like the new DLC, well not DLC, they're adding three characters. Well yeah, what they're gonna do is add three characters that have a they're gonna be like a Tommy Jarvis um, They've all been like end winners from Jason, so they have four different paths to kill him coming up in new DLC. One of them is uh, uh, Reggie from Part 5, um, Tina, yeah, Jarvis, so there's different, they have different ways to go about killing them, and then we'll have to get it. Turn into a mushroom. You guys want to try this again? We can do it. Mommy is proud of you, Jason. But it's time to come home now. I was in a match with a guy, and... I was in a match with a guy, everybody was alive but me, and I was watching this, and was going on, and they got the mask off. They were running, literally, frantically running in a circle around Jason outside, and I said, dude, pick his mask up. He wouldn't pick it up and put it in his inventory. The chick picked it up. Huh? What? Huh. Yeah. Of course. See, we all got the points for demasking, but not all of us kept the mask off his face. It's the same, yeah, it's, it's, it's team integrity points is exactly what they are. What, a counselor's primary NOS, suppress, neutralize, or destroy anything threatening the integrity of the team. Because hmm? he's a bonehead, he doesn't know what he's doing. Because he's a liar. He's an idiot. Because he said, I killed him 10 times. I'm going to do grab the mask. He runs away. I'm going to do your nuts. Mm. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, you bonehead. You don't know what the fuck you're even talking about. Senpai. You're not a fucking... You know what I suck now. Yeah, and you know a lot of mouth... Smart mouth shit. Your mouth's smarter than your brain. That's about it. Fucking ape. You don't need the mask. <laughs> <laughs> He's just a fucking bonehead. <laughs> hmm? 
Probably trying to go fucking in basketball. Mm -hmm. I'm fucking bowling him. He hasn't done it. He's been close. I haven't been just near close because he can't do it. He has no idea. Shiro Senpai. You know the fuck Senpai really means, man? I played the Naki Habara. You can keep your face shut, dude. No, you don't need the mask. You're one of those people that, oh, you don't need it, but you can't even get close enough to try to use it, but the X-Pump will work. I got videos showing people without the mask, it won't work. Yeah, the X-Pump comes up, and you sit down, hold my thing up with a split screen on my camera, going, X, 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 and it doesn't work. You don't know the fuck you're talking about, Senpai. I senpai would make you a fucking him. student, okay? Not the teacher. Yeah, you'd be fucking smart to realize that. A senpai is a fucking student, not the cheater, not the fucking teacher. Bonehead, man. No, that's just why do people fucking lie. What the fuck's up with that shit? What's it gonna do? Make you look stupid eventually. <laughs> I don't know why people insist on fucking hurting themselves, you know, with their own fucking dumbass shit. Nobody's got to be dumb. No one's got to be a fool. It's just from what they make. I don't mean, I don't problem with people, but the whole fucking problem here is, is that, um, I don't know, if someone wants to talk to a group like this to play this game and say some shit, why do, why do they want to try to look good by saying something they'll eventually find out any true fucking to begin with? Or later. I mean, it's just, come on now. The, min the video I got, it was the first time I killed him. When I killed him in the match, I had no fucking clue really what I was doing. I was like only a level 30, but it happened to be Jarvis, and it was a seven minute video. Seven minutes. We killed him. It was that easy, but it looked so simple. <laughs> no! Let's see, who's that? Okay, got him. Oh, we got us a little scumbag, huh? Sure, I'm gonna fix his ass. Fucking cockroach. Yep. Yeah. Taz, so Taz is fucking, Taz is, and who else? Taz and, oh, Taz is a little Shiro butt buddy, I get it. That's not good. Taz is working with Jason. How sweet. How cute is that? Yeah, they're trapping the insides of the windows, if you jump in the windows. That's what they're doing. And what's the other tag? Got it. Okay. That sucks. Bummer. No, this is a live recording, so everybody's just seeing look how stupid people are really being. It's just how dumb people really are. The bummer that you're a fucking bummer that you're a fucking uh you're a fucking Jason smoker, bull smoker. Yeah. She planted that fucking she planted a, a bear trap inside the window when I was coming in because she locked the front door. So she planted it in the window because I was jumping in the window to get a first aid spray. Yeah, see they're trying to I hope they got you see that in there? You see right there? Yeah. It's Mr. <laughs> Snipes. It's Mr. Snipes is one of them, and Taz. Taz 10. We gotta, like, I just want Wes to put the list down so these people don't fucking get, and they won't get to, to enter the big games coming up. It's gonna be, be a big community day coming up. Sorry, <laughs> This is, this tells you right here that people are that people are so fucked up and butt hurt that their information's wrong. They, they, this is why people lie too. They don't want to look so silly. They don't want to look stupid. And they don't want to be a dumb silly bitch. They're willing to be butt hurt and show people how fucking stupid and retarded they really fucking are no! because of that. Their shit's wrong. <laughs> yeah, fucking dude's working with Jason is what it was. Damn it! Fucking Just bitch. die! Look at that fucking hero fag, fucking punk ass bitch. Oh. See, you faggot piece of shit, go fuck yourself. I'm gonna leave the box like that. Got people helping you, fag. Bye, bitch. Got people helping you, fucking out there trying to set up traps? Good. No! I'm in my man, you leave me, cocksucker. You fucking got that bitch setting up traps for you, you're a fag, and you're a douchebag. That's why I knocked you on your ass. Keep talking, boy. What are you? Who do you think? Who are you? What are you? What are you, some boy? What are you, boy? What are you? You're a bitch? Is that what you said? That's all I can make out of your mouth. Is that what you said? He thinks he, he goes, oh, I got you. I said, I'm fucking standing there in front of you, dumbass. <laughs> I'm standing right in front of the fucking ape. Okay, so you got these tags here working with Jason. This is stupid as fuck. You don't do that shit. If my fucking... No, Patty, if my best friend was on here tonight, I'd kill him too. You're supposed to. 
You don't fucking, you don't fucking, uh, kill counselors because you're such a butt-hurt, whiny little sniveling bitch like Mr. She-Ra. Because he can't do anything like he's supposed to. He's a level 25 puss. He ain't nobody. <laughs> yeah. See that shit? You guys get all that too? I know. What a douchebag, huh? How many, how many viewers we got here? 36? I know Jason's a douchebag. <laughs> He's probably a douchebag recipe. Right. Well, I'll put oh, the tags. Here, I'll post them up. Here. This is the summary. Mr. Snipes. And, let's see, Mr. Snipes. Um, Taz 1021. Let's see, what was that? St. Valentine. She wrote Senpai. This guy's a fucking ditz. If he knew it, Senpai, man, he wouldn't have put it up there. He's a fucking moron. Okay. Is he? Good. <gasps> if he, uh, you know what? Well, I, you ready? No, you guys want to call in Jarvis? Then I'll take this motherfucker on. You want to talk some more shit, Zero? Think about that. I'll do it. Let's go, bitch. I got your bitch right here, punk. I'll take that off your I'll take that off your fucking face and we'll kill you. I just need one good loyal person who ain't gonna be fucking who ain't gonna be smoking your pole, pussy. I'm sure there's gotta be somebody in this lobby that's not smoking this fucking pole. Is that about right? I'm hoping. If there is, I just need one of you. And we'll kill this son of a bitch. If not, then it's sad. <laughs> so sad. That anybody would follow somebody and go, You don't even need a mask, you don't oh ask. What happened? <laughs> Wesley? Yeah. That would be loving Brendan, seven. Yes, he is. So just Murray is the only one? Okay, so the two that are dead are the only two that are loyal. Is that what you're saying? Are, the, are they still in the other two? Or have they been in Lost of Duty? Where have you seen him before? I know this, I know that person. I know them. That one, yeah, I've seen them before too. They're on the list. Well, they're actually, they're on, they're on the side of this. Let me check out the watch list for people who've just been fucking having long complaints on because they're kind of stuffed up their ass. Uh, notice that? This fucking stupid ape here. Yeah. You got his ass too. Oh my god! What happened? You're supposed to keep it here. Keep it here. Oh, you calling Jarvis still? I'll fucking end your ass, bitch. Maybe you got my old lady. You ain't gonna get me, motherfucker, at all. And not only that, she fucking walked into your ass. We're gonna leave. That's why she still cracked your ass. Since you have a fucking mouth, since your mouth is a little fucking punk, you got no fucking class. Uh, I don't see any kindness or coolness in you whatsoever. And, uh, you're a senpai. You're the fucking student. You ain't no fucking teacher. Shit. If you are, you teach like shit, dude. You need a fucking attitude adjustment. Fucking asshole. Yeah. That's what I just, that's what I told you in the beginning of that other match, too. This shows you how people's fucking, how people's attitudes are fucking so bass backwards. Yeah, tell you, calm, for example, tell you, calm down, calm down. And in the next four matches, they bring a little fucking attitude over into it. Trying to play like a snot nosed little shit. You've seen that too? <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, look who's fucking butt hurt and they're whining about it's okay. No shit. <laughs> that's, that's called hypocrisy. You know what a hypocrite is? Shit. They don't get very far. Anywhere. And if they do, they're gonna, you know, I mean, question judging people's motives all the time, they're gonna end up a waiter and have a couple cats for friends, and that's it. Unless this is all the friends they got on a console, that's fucking sad, man. <laughs> shit. Yeah, if you can't go out and fucking mingle, a little bit, something like that. <laughs> a little bit. But I also want to fucking glitch the stupid boat. Glitch? Fuck you, yeah. punk. You ain't glitching. You're a bitch. Oh, I'll yeah, bury yeah. something in your fucking head, dude. Like, I will bury something in your head, dude. You're fucking scared, man, obviously. You're spooked. You're fucking scared. Someone go call in Jarvis. And all I need is one person. We'll fucking kill your ass. You're scared, aren't you, you little silly bitch? You know it. Damn well know it. 
that you just got too many people smoking your pole. That sucks. That's sad. Because <laughs> you don't know shit for some lost us. You want to be a teacher? Senpai's a fucking student, idiot. Nice try. Oh, man. If I could hand out clues, I would. I would play for sale, but I'm not going to hand out. Oh, uh, I need some. Yeah, I need some. That was actually crazy. Totally. Yeah, he's trying to call everybody. You like that shit. asshole? What's your fucking stupid ass? Are you using those help? I'm coming for you. I know he's in a lot of class. Yeah. I did check it. He just never killed Jason before. You can be in the fucking lobby with somebody and be the first one dead. I'm not gonna deal with it and get the fucking other one's trophy. That doesn't mean you <laughs> You can get credit for fucking killing Jason like you did, but you never even done it. Unless you're in the lobby. Damn, you're good. Five grabs coming out of that note. You see the pressure and obviously waiting to happen, aren't you, Jason? I'm scoping out of all the fucking, all of all that foul shit he had to fucking say. I'm just checking out his game. You know, people talk one thing and they show another. So I'm just seeing what he shows from what he had to come out of his I neck. Him out. Just like other people had something come out their fucking neck. They didn't know what the fuck they were doing, but they killed Jason ten times, huh? Shit. Should've put a trap right there. People rage. I'm right into that shit. <laughs> because you were still in the cutscene. I know, he didn't know how he thought you were I guess I got that. Oh, that's not good. Like that asshole! Nice tag. Nice tag. Actually, Jones needs a monkey wrench. That fucker will stay seated for a while. Because she's got to keep up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the summary of the fuck I can where are you going? Let's go on the fucking run a victory lap around your mom's table before he knocks you out of the fucking living room. Fuck. I'm talking to Jarvis. I'm back in the running circle back in these two up right here. I get these two out of the camp, then I go back and beat this fucking ass. Yeah, I would make a fucking ass. Yeah, they're living. I don't believe it. Not all of them, no. There's a couple of players in here. A little bit. I don't know why this guy thinks he's called a lot, man. What does he know? <laughs> That's pushing. He's right in front of his collision program. The collision program won't move past shoulders. Take another drink. <laughs> Seen her and getting seen her a little bit different. Nope. Bleeds too fast. A lot of people just move it out in 15 seconds and don't realize why it's bleeding so fast. And I think it's just the duration. Uh -huh. My long time in it lasted five minutes. He's trolling the Yeah, it's fast me though. I'm shifting up against a car. You know, it's like a, you know, a fish in a tank, you know, swimming right. in the front. It's, it's physical, so you have to go inside it. I got a tank with you. Oh, shit, I don't I don't shit. I gotta end this now, so I can go. That was handed to you. 
They just handed it to you. These guys are generous. That's what I saw. They were, they were kind and generous to you. They could have whooped your fucking ass. As I've seen the way they were playing. So they were being nice to you, letting you know that don't be such a silly ass all the time, man. Yeah, you're gonna have to get over it sooner or later, dude. You might as well fucking start now. Well? It's all done. You're gonna let this bother you the rest of your fucking life? Alright then. Return to mommy. Change your pants at least so that you can get the panel tips or something. Oh, well, again, I mean, 